Hey guys, welcome to tip of the day. Uh, this is Virin here and in this video we will see how to bucketize uh, you know data values uh, and this is this happens only with numbers uh, how to bucketize these uh, to generate uh, the results that you want using the frequency function so when I say bucketize basically let's say you want to check how many numbers of these belong to uh, the bucket 0 to 10 uh, or 10 to 20 or you can have your own buckets I mean if you want to create a bucket of 0 to 20 or 20 to 40 so th these are just what let's say 20 values 21 here but you may have like huge number of values let's say i'm gonna paste these once again so now how many values do we have here so we are dealing with like 36 but you may be dealing with like 250 300 or more and using the da data filter function uh, you can do it but not for bigger values let's say i'm gonna run the filter here in the filter i can check you know, you know manually by let's say saying 0 1 10 these belong to 0 to 10 so these are three so i mean this is very tedious task i mean if you want to do something like this if you really want to bucketize these you can use the frequency function and uh, let's define the limit now so now by default the limit that you will define will take the upper limit so basically let's see what i mean so let's say I want the buckets of 10, 20. So I want something between 0 and 10. How many numbers are there between 10 and 20? So this is how my buckets go. And now that we know that we have 103, I don't think we have anything in this which is beyond 110. So I'm going to restrict my bucket uh, in multiples of 10 only till 110. So this is my uh, limit and now I will run the frequency or formula. So this is how it's done. Next to your bucket, normally we directly start with the formula something like this, right? But it doesn't work like that. It will give you an error. So you choose your bucket. I'm sorry next to the buckets you choose this area okay which is parallel to the buckets and then you start writing the function okay and then it's asking for data array so basically we are interested in this entire set okay and after that comma and then it asks for bin array that is your buckets and close this and now don't hit enter like you you know for all the formulas hit control shift enter there you go so now it says between 0 and 10 there are four numbers between 10 and 20 there are two numbers between 20 and 30 there are there's just one number so let's say you want to confirm uh, what you can do is just run the filter so we'll check with between 0 and 10 so I'm gonna 0 1 10 so these are the numbers between 0 and 10 so if you see here these are 4 which is correct similarly I'm gonna say between 10 and 20 so 10 and 20 is 12 that's it so it says 2 and there you go so between 10 and 20 there are two numbers so it looks like this really works now coming back to creating your own buckets let's say for these same numbers I want a different bucket or a different limit so let's say I'm gonna run it uh, let's say 20 40 60 100 and 120 so now I want to see how many numbers are there between 0 and 20 between 20 and 40 and so on so once again next to that limit you select that area then start writing the formula Okay, this is what we are interested in as the data array, comma, and what is your bin array? The limits are this, this time. Close it, control, shift, enter. So now, between 0 and 20, there are 6 numbers. Between 20 and 40, there are 8 numbers. So, once again, let's verify. Between 0 and 20, that's it. 
these are the six numbers and it shows six between 20 and 40 there are eight numbers so between 20 and 40 you have 23 32 33 34 38 that's about it so we have eight numbers there you go all right now that we have our data you know you can use this data to actually um, picturize what's happening uh, and that's the whole idea we bucketize this right so let's say i'm gonna check the limits of 10 i'll go to insert and i can go to recommended charts so this is what i get that between 0 to 10 you have four numbers and between 10 and 20 you have two numbers and so on so similarly i can select the other one that what is the story if the limits are between 0 to 20 and 20 to 40 once again all right or maybe you can select uh, another chart let's say something like this all right guys so um, i hope you know it it uh, gave you some understanding or uh, or some idea as to you know how you can bucketize numbers um, and maybe it's helpful for you in your daily life so if you still have any questions feel free to uh, you know give your comments and i shall try my best to help you out and once again thank you for watching thank you for your time and yeah, don't forget to subscribe thank you